Some other stories we're following tonight. Blowing snow in mountains of Northern California and Nevada closed key highways over the weekend while an Arctic blast brought frigid temperatures to the Pacific Northwest. At Donner Pass in the Sierra, officials with the University of California Berkeley's Central Snow Laboratory said today that recent snowfall has smashed the snowiest December record of 179 inches set back in 1970. In the Pacific Northwest, more than a foot was reported near Port Angeles across the Puget Sound on the Olympic Peninsula. And in Nevada, freezing air and blinding snow blasted across the northern part of the state today, affecting travel and business, closing Sierra Nevada highway passes, delaying airport flights and shutting state offices. President Biden signed the annual defense funding bill into law. The National Defense Authorization Act cleared Congress earlier in December. This year, the bill authorizes funding in the amount of $770 billion for the Defense Department. It also outlines the policy agenda for the department and the military. The measure includes changes to the military justice system to revamp how the military deals with sexual assault and harassment. And Sarah Weddington, the lawyer in the landmark Roe v. Wade case, has died at the age of 76. Weddington graduated from the University of Texas School of Law in 1967. Just five years later, she successfully argued for legal abortion in front of the Supreme Court twice. Weddington went on to serve in the Texas House of Representatives and later as the general counsel for the U.S. Department of Agriculture. She also served as an assistant to President Jimmy Carter. The former president released a statement saying she was a warrior in the continuing struggle for equal rights for women.